C final. Swimming out of lane number one from the Long Island Aquatic Club, that's Katie Yee. Two from the Badger Swim Club, Hannah Shimizu Bowers. Three from Bellevue, Claire Watson. Four for Quest Swimming, Emerson Kalis. Five representing Mansfield Aquatic, Ava Topolowski. Six from Phoenix Swimming, Skylar Knowlton. Seven from Santa Clara, Davina Huang. And eight from Phoenix Swim Club, Danielle Gleason. This is gonna be getting our session underway and setting the tone for this finals. This morning, Emerson Callis was first in prelims, 215-84 in this heat. She is out first, 29-72. We gotta keep an eye on that Olympic trials cut throughout these finals. 200 butterfly cut is a 213-69. We have a lot of junior swimmers here ready to punch their ticket out to Indianapolis to have a once-in-a-lifetime experience. At the turn, Cal still leads 103.97, 34.25 on the second 50. Right with her out there in lane number seven, that's Wang, 104.30. She was also a 34.2 on that second 50. 200 fly and mixture of endurance and speed. You've got to be able to maintain your stroke and keep your rate. And build that third 50 so you can come off that wall and make a charge on the way home. Wang now, 139.21, right on the heels of Callis at 139.14. Callis this morning, 215.84. Wang was 216.98. The two of them are swimming a little away from this field right now. Callis seems to have a bit of an edge. Coming on strong in lane number three, that's Watson out of Bellevue, but it will go. Amerson Callis, 214.73. Take your C final. Knocking a full second off her preliminary swim. Nice job. final. In your B final night, sitting out of lane number one from the Jersey Wahoos, Elise Lehman, two from Crimson Aquatics, Hazel Muhindin, three from Lake Oswego, that's Anne-Marie Vlaik, Four from Palo Alto, Stanford Aquatics, Kelsey Zhang. Five representing the Nova Aquatics at Irvine, Maggie Shallow. Six is Samantha Banos. Seven from King Aquatic Club is Camden Doan. And eight from the Buckeyes is Caitlin Sallows. Right now, Zhang out 28.77. She was a 2.13.59 this morning. No other swimmer in this field was under 2.15. So she already has about a one and a half second gap between her and the next swimmer from the preliminaries. And she is making use of that right now, tearing away from the field on the first 100. She turns 101.43, 32.66 at the second 50. Kelsey Zhang putting a two body length lead on the field. She was just under the Olympic qualifying time this morning of 2.13.69. Let's see how far she can get down tonight.
at the 150. 136, 34, 30 to 4, 9 on this third 50. A little bit of a jump. Right now, Shallow beginning to make a move on lane number five. Also moving up, Banos in six. They were not going to be able to catch Zhang, but we are going to have a heck of a finish as they come into the wall. Zhang's going to take it 2-12-40. Maggie Shallow, 2-13-13, qualifying for the U.S. Olympic Trials. And you can see that she's pretty happy about that one. I'd like you to help me welcome our championship finalist for the women's 200 meter butterfly. <laughs> Swing out of lane number one representing suburban Seahawks. That's Laney Mullins. In lane two, representing Pikes Peak Athletics, Caroline Bricker. Lane three, representing Jersey Wahoos, Audrey Devereux. In lane four, a national team member in your top qualifier this morning, representing Long Island Aquatics, Tess Howley. Lane number five, representing Pro Canyon Sharks, national junior team member, Bailey Hartman. Lane six, representing Club Wolverine, another national junior team member, Hannah Bellard. Lane seven, representing Mansfield Aquatic Club, Katie Walker. And rounding out the field in lane number eight, representing Bulldog Swimming, Lily Darabo. A final. Mullins, Bricker, Devereaux, Howley, Hartman, Ballard, Walker, and Devereaux. Sisters in the heat. On 13, 118. Tess Howley leads the way this morning with a 207.56 setting the meet record. Previously erasing the record from Olivia Carter. Set back in 2017 of 209.0. And Howley, as expected, out. 28.51 on the first 50. She has about a four second lead over the rest of the field from her preliminary time. Right now, Devereaux, Hartman, and Ballard all vying for second as Howley leads them out. 1-0-0-41, that's a 31-9 second 50 split. Hartman comes in with a 32-1 right on the heels of Howley's split. Yeah. 
And this is where Howley begins to take control of the race and distance herself from the field. Making a break. She hits the wall. 133 24, 32 8, third 50. Right now, Ballard in second, Hartman in third. Tess Halley, 207.56 this morning for the meet record. Let's see if she can get under that tonight. She just needs to get home at a 34 flat, which she is going to do. She's going to touch 206.85, new meet record for Tess Howley. Second place going to Blard at 292. Mullins in third, 210.99. That swim of Tess Howley, just about a half a second off of the national age group record set by Reagan Smith back in 2020 at 206.39. That is a monster swim. Tonight, and her name will be etched on the Junior National leaderboard for a long time. We get a coach from Lyac to the awards area. A coach from Lyac to the awards area, please. Please welcome your championship finalist to the awards area for the women's 200 meter butterfly. The awards will be presented by coach Jenny Nussbaum of Lyac and Long Island Aquatic Club. In eighth place, from Pikes Peak Athletics, Caroline Bricker. Seventh, from Bulldog Swimming, Lily Darivo. Sixth, from Mansfield Aquatic, Katie Walker. Fifth, from Jersey Wahoos, Audrey Devereaux. Fourth from Crow Canyon, Bailey Hartman. In third from the Suburban Seahawks, Laney Mullins. In second from Club Wolverine, Hannah Ballard. And your 2023 champion from Long Island Dakota Club in a new meet record of 206.85. Tess Howley.
Reminder, coaches, really cards are due in 15 minutes. If you have not turned those in, please make your way to the resolution desk and turn in those cards as soon as possible. Well, we got to start off with a bang there, the women's 200 butterfly. Now it's turn, time for the men's turn. Event number two, men's 200 meter butterfly. C-Final. Swimming in your C-Final tonight, Adeline 1 from Longhorn Aquatics, Rowan Cox 2 from Nitro, Oliver Rowe 3 from Evolution Racing Club, Humberto Najera. Four from Scarlet Aquatics, Richard Kropowski. Five from Swim Mac Carolina, Aiden Hill. Six from Long Island Aquatic Club, Seth Sean Green. Seven from Lakeside is Maximus Williamson. And eight from Golden West is Colin Gear. Out first is Najera, 27-1-6. In this heat, both Green and Williamson are members of the USA National Junior Team out of a lane six and seven. Coming up at the 100 mark, Najera continues to lead 57-77, 30.6 on that split. This morning, Najera was a 202-19. In fact, all these gentlemen were 202 this morning during prelims. That Olympic trials cut, 200-49, is looming out there for someone just to take it and punch their ticket to Indianapolis. Najera continue to hold strong on third 50. He turns 130.47, sorry, 129.44. Williamson out there in lane seven, 129.87. And Jared needs to be back at a 31-0 if he wants to get that Olympic trials cut. We'll see how close he can get. Under the flags, he's going to lead start to finish. He's going to make the touch. 201-09 for Humberto Najera out of Evolution Racing. Second place goes to Rowan Cox. And third to Scarlett's. Poplowski. Great swim, gentlemen. B final. Swimming out of lane number one from Bellingham Bay Swim Team, Wyatt Carlton, two from Livermore Aqua Cowboys, Jack Grove, three from North Baltimore, Patrick Brannon, four from Bellevue, Andrew Jinn, five from Rockville Montgomery, Adriano Arati, six from Carmel Swim Club, Andrew Shackles, seven from New Wave Swim Team, Sam Marsteiner, and eight from Palo Alto Stanford Aquatics, Henry Height. This morning, these gentlemen range from 2014 to 2 double -O flat. Out first is Grove, 26-75. Grove with a nice fluid stroke. Very high recovery over the water. Looks to be easily sailing out on the first 100. 56-71, 29-96 on the second 50. The only swimmer, second swimmer, honestly, in that field, 
under the 30 mark on the second 50. Ariadne was the other at 29.88. Groves still out there with half a body length lead at the 150. 128, 28, 31, 5 on that split. 129, 6 for Shackle in second at that point. 31, 8 on his second, third 50. Grove beginning to feel that front 100. Right now, coming into the touch, it's gonna go to Sam Marsteiner with an amazing last 50 of 31 2 0 85 Second goes to Ariadne out of Rockville, Montgomery. And third goes to Brennan out of North Baltimore Aquatic Club. Let's welcome our championship finalists for the men's 200 meter butterfly. Swimming out of lane number one, representing Nova, Virginia. Harry Belcher. Lane two, representing Club Wolverine, Tyler Ray. Lane three, representing Carmel Swim Club, Greg Enoch. In lane number four, your top qualifier and a national team member representing Carmel Swim Club, Aaron Shackle. Lane number five, a junior team member from Evolution Racing, David Schmidt. Lane number six, representing Greater Pensacola, Logan Robinson. Lane number seven, representing Gelatin Hill Swim Club, also a member of the USA Junior National Team, Diego Nosek. And rounding out the field in lane number eight, representing Spokane Waves Aquatic Team, Michael Hockwalt. A final. Belcher in one, Ray in two, Enoch in three, Shackle in four, Schmidt in five, Robinson in six, Nosak in seven, and Hockwalt in eight. Shackle a member of the USA national team, Schmidt, Nosak members of the USA junior national team. Meet record of this event, 156.54. This morning, Shackle was a 157.37. His lifetime best, 155.81. Right now, Robinson's taking them out at 26.09. But Shackle right behind 
Logan Robinson coming into this meet was a 203.98, dropped over three seconds, close to four, going 2.0010 and punching his ticket to US Olympic Trials. Shackle out 55 24, 29 1 on the second 50. Robinson out 56 0. Enoch out 56 2. Enoch and Shackle training partners at Carmel Swim Club. Staying under the 30 barrier. Enoch in second, 126.9. Robinson in third, but the field now catching up to Robinson. Looks like lane number eight, Hockwalt, moving into third place. But it's going to be all shackled, touching the wall, 156.07. New Junior National Meet Record for Aaron Shackle. Second place, Enoch, 158, 49. And third goes to Hockwalt, out in lane number eight, 158, 87. Five swimmers out of that heat under the 2 double barrier. As we have had now two events and two meet records. We get a coach from Carmel Swim Club, please, to the award staging area. Coach from Carmel Swim Club to the award staging. Okay, let's welcome our championship finalists to the awards podium for the men's 200 meter butterfly. Presenting awards will be Carmel Swim Club's coach, Chris. Bath. In eighth place from Nova Virginia Aquatics, Harry Belcher. In seventh from Club Wolverine, Tyler Ray. In sixth from Greater Pensacola Aquatic Club, Logan Robinson. In fifth from Tuletten Hills Swim Club, Diego Nosek. In fourth from Evolution Racing Club, David Schmidt. In third from Spokane Waves Aquatic Team, Michael Hockwalt. In second from Carmel Swim Club, Greg Enoch. And your 2023 Junior National Champion in a meet record of 156.07, representing Carmel Swim Club, Aaron Shackle.
Congratulations, gentlemen, on a great final. Up next, we're going to move into event number three, women's 100-meter breaststroke. C final. <laughs> so we get your C final tonight. Adelaide number one for Schroeder YMCA. Tori Brostowitz, two from Dart Swimming. Michaela Tan, three from Lakeside Aquatic. Ella McWhorter, four from Cavaliers. Sarah Surjak, five from Swimback Carolina, Avery Clamphoff, six from Longhorns is Lily Jane Allison, seven from Lakeshore, Nina LaRosa, and eight from Central Ohio, Alexis Peltz. This morning, all these women were out and split 111.6 to 111.9 on their 100s. Out first right now is LaRosa, 33.37. Time to keep an eye on is 110.29. That is the U.S. Olympic trial qualifying time. Right now, Tan, McWhorter, LaRosa. It is a very tight field coming in under the flags. At the touch, it goes to Michaela Tan, 111.45. McWhorter in second, 111.61, and Surjak in third, B final. So we get your B final tonight. Lane number one, Mississippi Mako swim team, Rachel McAlpin. Two from Santa Clara, Mia Sue. Three from Dart Swimming, Sarah Bennett's four from Carmel Swim Club, Molly Sweeney five from Clovis Swim Club, Hannah Marinovich six from Mission Viejo Natadors, Tegan O'Dell seven from Valparaiso Swim Club, Maddie Murath, and eight from Pacific Swim, Allie Byrne. O'Dell is a junior national team member and, and Bennett's will be out first, 32.08. And it's continuing to build. Now getting about a body length lead on the field, coming in under the flags. She's going to reach for the wall and touch. 109.44, Olympic trial qualifying time for Sarah Bennett out of dart swimming. Second, also in Olympic qualifying time, Marinovich. In lane number five, 109.93 out of Clovis Swim Club. Coaches, 
We do need the coach from South Metro to go and pick up their relay card immediately. If you are a coach from South Metro, please go and pick up your relay card right now. Let's welcome our championship finalists for the women's 100 meter breaststroke. So we got a lane number one representing Lakeside Aquatic Club, Avery Collins. Lane two, representing Irvine Nova Aquatics, Caitlin Nguyen. Lane three, representing Valparaiso Swim Club, Mary Elizabeth Sepides. Your top qualifier from this morning in lane number four, junior national team member from Bellevue Club Swim Team, Piper Engie. Lane five, representing Crow Canyon Sharks, Raya Milot. Lane six, representing the Mason Manor Rays, Addie Robillard. Lane seven, from Adina Swim Club, Kate Polaski. And lane eight, from Pikes Peak Athletics, Caroline Bricker. Championship final. <laughs> Collins, DeWin, Suspides, Engie, Malut, Robillard, Poloski, and Bricker make up your A final. This morning, Engie was a 108.09, meet record in this event, 107.63. Another interesting fact, Robillard out of lane six. I think I swam with her aunt in high school. How time flies. Out first, Engie, 31.72 at the turn. Followed closely by Safidis, 31.93. Only two swimmers out under 32. Angie leaping across the water, trying to get this one done. Malat not going away, coming into the wall. Angie's going to take care of it. 107.98. Just off the meet record, but one heck of a swim. 107.98 for Piper Engie, second. Going to Raya Malat. 108.51, and third place going to Mary Elizabeth Sepides, 108.81. Great final swim.
Let's welcome back our championship finalists to the awards platform for their medals in the women's 100 meter breaststroke. Presenting awards tonight from Bellevue Club Swim Team, Coach Abby Liu. In eighth place from Adidas Swim Club, Kate Pulaski. Seventh from Irvine Nova Aquatics, Caitlin Nguyen. In sixth from Lakeside Aquatic, Avery Collins. In fifth place from Pikes Peak Athletics, Caroline Bricker. In fourth from the Mason Manor Rays, Addie Robillard. In third from Valparaiso Swim Club, Mary Elizabeth Sepedes. In second from Crow Canyon Sharks, Raya Milot. And your 2023 Speedo Junior National Champion in a time of 107.98 from Bellevue Club Swim Team, Piper Enge. Now we'll turn our attention to the men's 100 meter breaststroke, event number four. C-Final. So we got a lane number one for the Foothills of the team, Joshua Korn. Two from Rise Aquatic, Colin Zhang. Three from Oregon Community Swim Club, Finley Conklin. Four from Scottsdale Aquatics, Hudson Schrute. Five from Cavaliers, Max Moore. Six from Arlington, Simon Bermudez. Seven from Seattle Metro, Jack Scarta. And in lane eight from David YMCA Phantoms, Luke Vickers. All these gentlemen were 103 this morning. Olympic trials cut in this event, 102-19. Right now, Conklin's gonna lead him out in 29 flat. Hunter meter breaststroke is a very high tempo stroke these days. Stay on top of the water and keep yourself moving. Right now, it's Corn and Conklin out of one and three, going neck and neck under the flags, into the touch. Who's got the stretch? It'll come. 102.28 from Joshua Corn out of lane number one, dropping over a second from this morning swim. Second going to Conklin, 102.33. And third, going to Bermuda's out in lane number six, 
B final. So we got a lead number one in your B final from Elmbrook Swim Club, Lance Johnson. Two from Memphis Thunder. Ian Call. Three from FMC Aquatic, Alex Lakin. Four from Team Suffolk, Noah Caker. Five from Swimmac Carolina, Ben Domar. Six from Mission Viejo, Noah Sack. Seven from Hurricane Aquatics, Julian Martin. And in lane eight from Highland Hurricanes, Josh Bay. Leading them out right now, Alex Larkin. 29.04. Notable in this heat, Del Mar is a member of the U.S. National Junior Team. Ian Call from the Memphis Thunder set a new national age group record this morning with his 102.64, erasing the 13.14 record from Reese Whitley set back in 2014 of 103.23. Let's see if he can re-break the national record tonight. As they build into the finish, Call making a move. The touch is going to go Del Mar 102-18 with an Olympic trial qualifying time. But Ian Call at a lane two, now establishing a 102-22 new 13-14 national age group record, breaking his own record from this morning of 102-64. Congratulations, gentlemen, on a great swim. Let's welcome our championship finalists for the men's 100 meter breaststroke. Swimming out of lane number one, representing Rose Bowl Aquatics, the national junior team member, Daniel Lee. Lane two, representing Phoenix Swimming, Alexei Avakov. Lane number three, also a USA National Junior Team member, representing Texas Ford Aquatics, Joshua Chen. Lane number four, your top qualifier this morning, representing Elite Coronado, Nick Mayhabir. Lane five, representing Ridgefield Aquatic Club, Xavier Ruiz. Lane six, Metroplex Aquatics, Watson Nguyen. Lane number seven, representing the Aqua Jet Swim Team, Charlie Eglin. Lane number eight, representing Raleigh Swimming, Brayson Walker. Championship final. <laughs> Lee, Avakov, Chen, Mahibir, Ruiz, Nguyen, Eglin, and Walker all representing your championship final here. Mahibir was 101 flat this morning. Last week he was sub one minute going 59.96 at the TYR Pro. Meet record of this event is a 10008 set back in 2016 by Mike Landrew. Right now leading them out, Charlie Eglin, 28.43 on the opening 50. 
Nguyen, 28-55. Walker, 28-83. Lane six, seven, and eight pulling out the field. Right now, Eglin with a slight lead, but Mehabir coming on strong the last 15 meters in this race. Building in under the flags. He is going to get the touch. One double O, 69. 2nd going to Ruiz, 101-15, and 3rd to Eglin at 101-24. That entire heat has qualified for the U.S. Olympic Trials next year in Indianapolis. Let's welcome back our championship finalists for the awards for the men's 100 meter breaststroke. Presenting the awards tonight from Coronado Swimming Association, Coach Bradford Hancock. In eighth place from Raleigh Swim Association, Brazen Walker. Seventh from Rose Bowl Aquatics, Daniel Lee. Sixth from Phoenix Swimming, Alexei Avakov. Fifth from Metroplex Aquatics, Watson Nguyen. Fourth from Texas Ford Aquatics, Joshua Chen. In third, from the AquaJet swim team, Charlie Egland. Second, from Ridgefield Aquatics, Xavier Ruiz. And your 2023 Speedo Junior National Champion at a time of 1-0-69, representing Coronado Swim Association, Nick Mahabir.
Let's welcome our championship finalists for the women's 800 meter freestyle. Swimming out of lane number one, representing Scottsdale Aquatics, Ella Cosgrove. Two, representing Scarlet Aquatics, Chloe Kim. Out of lane three, representing Carmel Swim Club, Lindsay Bowen. Lane number four, representing La Mirada Armada, Kayla Han. Lane number five from Long Island Aquatic Club, Kevin Gormanson. Lane six representing Scarlet Aquatics, Kate Hurst. Lane number seven representing Adina Swim Club, Katie McCarthy. And in lane number eight representing Scarlet Aquatics, Kathleen Toronto. And we're off. Women's 800 meter freestyle. Cosgrove, Kim, Bowen, Hahn, Gormson, Hurst, McCarthy, and Toronto are your top eight tonight based on their seated times. Earlier today, we did have the women's 800 meter freestyle preliminary heats. Top time from there was Mila Nikonarov at 844.20. Paige Downey was second, 846.80, and Lexi Ward was in third at Carmel Swim Club, 848.1. Swimmers can get on the podium from any heat. So swimmers in the earlier heats will keep a close eye on the splits of these athletes to see who will be in our top eight. Right now, leading out is Bowen. 101.06 at the turn, 31.99 on her second 50. The only one out splitting her was Gormson out of Lyak at 31.79. Both Han and Gormson are junior national team members. Olympic trial qualifying time, and this is 8.45.79. The meet record set by Jillian Ryan out of North Baltimore back in 2012, 8.30.84. Han comes in with the fastest time at 8.32.88. Gormson in second with an 8.35, and Bowen in third with an 8.38. Right now, it's Bowen and Gormson through the 200 mark, 205.81 for Bowen, 205.63 for Gormson, leading it. If you hover your splits around 32 mid to low, you're looking around 104 high to 105 flat 100s. Combine that with a little faster 100 on the start and a little faster 100 on the finish, you're looking to the 830s on a final time. Generally though, a lot of these swimmers will begin transitioning after the 400 mark and bring their splits down as they begin to build into this race. Through the 300, Gormson's still in the lead, 310-47. The foul closely by Hurst, 
Hahn and Bowen out of lanes three, four, and six. All those swimmers in a 32-4 to 32-7 range on their splits. And Bowen, the first one to drop, 32 flat. She brought her split down seven tenths of a second. Now out splitting Han, Gormson, and Hurst on that 50. But Gormson looking to battle back here, being able to breathe to her left and see Bowen. Through the 400 mark, Gormson still leads 415-74, 415-83 for Bowen, 416s for Hahn and Hurst. Could we also get a coach from Mission Viejo, a coach from Mission Viejo to the announcer's booth? A coach from Mission Viejo to the announcer's booth, please. Gormson still leading, 448-0. 448-4 for Bowen, 448-5 for Hahn, 449-2 for Hurst. See if these women get an even split, negative split. Their swim, this could shape up to be a great battle as we are through the 500 meter mark, still averaging 32.3 to 32.5 on all these athletes. No one wants to back down from this race. Five hundred and fifty in, thirty-two fours. Gormson thirty-two seven, thirty-two six out of Hurst. They are going to stay neck and neck. Coming up on the six hundred mark, we will have two hundred meters to go in this race. The coaches are getting excited. The athletes are getting excited. I think we need the stands to get excited about this race as it's gonna come down to these four women battling it out over the next four laps. They want, one of them wants to break away. Right now, Han takes over the lead. We've had a few different lead changes. Hurst hanging just a little bit back from Bowen, Hahn, and Gormson. Right now, Bowen takes the lead back again. 6, 58, 52. It's gonna come down to a 100 meter sprint. Generally, distance swimming doesn't get too exciting, but this one is gonna be a barn burner. Bowen trying to make a little bit of a break right now. She doesn't want to wait. She's going to build into that 700 mark. They all get the bell lap. Bowen leaves it at 731. Han 731. Gormson 731. Hurst right behind at 732. It's a drop dead sprint from this point on to see who's going to get their hand on the wall. All four of these women ahead of the earlier time set by Mila Ninakarov, 844-20. They'll be well under that. Who is gonna be able to get their hand on the wall first in this last 50? Bowen still leads at 803-09. It comes down to guts, and who wants it? 
Bowen seems to got a kick. They're going to make a run. Hurst coming up on the outside, trying to do a sprint. Who's going to get their hand on the wall first? Bowen looks to have an edge. Hahn coming in strong. Touch at the wall. Goes to Bowen, 833-71. Second goes to Hahn at 833-87. Hurst coming out at 834-11 for third. And Gormson at 834-38. If that doesn't get you excited as a race, nothing's going to. Fantastic swim. Would a coaching representative from Carmel Swim Club please make their way over to the award staging area. Let's welcome our top eight finishers in the women's 800 meter freestyle to the awards platform. <laughs> Presenting awards tonight from Carmel Swim Club, Coach Kyle Johnson. In eighth place from Adina Swim Club, Katie McCarthy. Seventh from Highlands Ranch Aquatics, Mila Nikonarov. Sixth from Scottsdale Aquatic Club, Ella Cosgrove. Fifth from Scarlet Aquatics, Kathleen Toronto. In fourth, with an epic battle and that 800 free from Long Island Aquatic Club, Kevin Gormson. Third from Scarlet Aquatics, Kate Hurst. In second from La Mirada Armada, Kayla Han. And your 2023 Speedo Junior National Champion coming away with an 833-71 after an epic 16 lap battle from Carmel Swim Club, Lindsay Bowen.
Let's welcome the finalists for event number six, men's 1500 meter freestyle. Swimming out of lane number one from New Wave Swim Team, Matthew Marsteiner. Lane two from Pleasanton Seahawks, Miha Torich, Luka Miha Torich. Lane three from the swim team, Isaac Flag. Lane number four, representing Nova, Virginia, Nathan Zaboda. Lane five, representing Fishers Area Swimming, Luke Whitlock. Lane six, representing Tide Swimming, Bobby Denunzio. Lane seven, from Crimson Aquatics, William Mulgrew. And lane eight from Swimback Carolina, Freddie Klein. Championship final. And we're underway for the men's 1500 meter freestyle. Mar Steiner in one, Mia Toe Rich in two, Flag in three, Zabota in four, Whitlock in five, Denunzio in six, Mulgrew in seven, and Klein in eight. This is a stacked field. Zabota in with the fastest time, 1518.13. Zabota and Denunzio are members of the USA national junior team. Earlier today, we featured heats of the men's 1500 meter freestyle. We have some incredible swims. Jacob Pins from Des Moines Swimming Federation was a 1531.13 to be the leader through the earlier heats. Aiden Hammer of King Aquatics was 1533.69. And Sadine Sadin from Scarlet was 1537.28. Right now, Miha Torich is leading him out in 57.11. Flying out there in lane number eight, 57.24. Whitlock takes over the lead, 127.38, on the back of a 30 flat split. We'll see what kind of race strategy everybody employs in the 1500. Everybody does it just a little bit differently. Out strong, hang back, build the race. Strong negative split. Number of ways to approach this race in your strategy. Whitlock right now, 157.58 on the way out. 158.1 from Klein over on lane number eight. Whitlock comes in with a personal best of 1522.69, Klein with 1541.92. Mia Torich comes in with 1532.18 as his personal best. Whitlock continuing to lead here from Fisher's Area Swimming. Through the 250. He's got a body length lead on the field and a few body lengths on a few other swimmers. Through the 300, he's still under 258 22, dropping a 30.4 split. He still has the fastest 50 split out of the entire field. 
Closest one to him was Flag at a 30.72. Out of lane number three. Continuing to lead this race, putting a lot of distance right now between himself and the rest of the field. He is out under four minutes, 359.18. Over the last few splits, he's been 30.4, 30.5, 30.4, 30.2, 30.2. Consistently logging in that mid-30 range to low-30 range. Whitlock again, 30.55. Other than Mulgrew right now, who dropped 30.7, Whitlock's got about a half a second advantage over the rest of the field on each 50. Third of the way through the race, he's at 47. Just for context, Jacob Pins this morning, who turned into 1531.13, was 508.33 at his 500. Whitlock over eight seconds ahead. Whitlock still now the only individual under the 31 barrier on his splits. 30.8, he's beginning to creep up a little bit. But again, out splitting his competitors by about two to four tenths. Through the turn there, 30.9. Hasn't hit the 31 barrier yet, but he's closing on it. Rest of the field at 31-0, 31-1, As they are all fighting for second to Luke Wicklock right now. And that's the first 31-0 from Whitlock as he goes through the 650 meter mark. <laughs> right now in second was Fly, about five seconds behind. Can we get a coaching representative from Pro Canyon Sharks to the announcer's booth? A representative from Pro Canyon Sharks to the announcer's booth. Coming up on the halfway split for Whitlock. Seven hundred and fifty meters in, he turns. 735.52. Flag still second, 740.60, five seconds behind. If Whitlock can even split or negative split this swim, you're looking at around a 15 10. 
15-11, which would be good enough for about a 10 second drop from his best. Right now, a nice little battle shaping up in lanes two and three between Mia Torich and Fly as they're beginning to go stroke for stroke. Battling back and forth. Zaboda just threw down a 30.1 50 split. He was at 31.4, 31.3, 31.5. He just dropped a one and a half seconds on a 50. Let's see if he's able to hold 30.7. He is beginning to make a move, out splitting even Whitlock on that split, picking up about three tenths of a second each 50. If he's able to hold on to this, he may be able to eat in a little bit of the lead of Whitlock as we move through the next 550 meters. But Whitlock still holding strong, 31-1. Zaboda, 30.7, 30.9s out of Mia Torich and Flag on that 50. Flag beginning to really up his tempo right there. Whitlock still leading through the thousand, 10, 11, 0. That's a 5004 and then a 510 on his 500 splits. now making a big move on Whitlock, chopping into his lead. Whitlock at a 31-2, Flag at 30.5 on that 50. He just picked up seven tenths of a second. Right now, he is only three seconds behind the leader. If he continues to pick up seven tenths per 50, He's going to be up there neck and neck within the next 200. 31.29 on Whitlock, 30.4 now on Flag. Really beginning to come on strong. He made an amazing transition and shifted gears at the thousand mark. He was in a tight battle with Sabota and Mia Tilrich. But at the 1,000, he said, I'm going to take off. And right now, he is playing chase to Whitlock out there in lane number five. Whitlock continues to be 31-2. Flag picking up about a half a second there on him, 30.7. Right now, Mia Tilrich in a comfortable third. Zaboda just off a little bit, as well as Mulgrew out there in lane number seven. Whitlock continues to turn to 31 twos. Flag now 30.4 on that 50. He knows he's catching. He's got 200 meters left to go at this wall to try to make a run at Whitlock 
We'll see how much energy he still got in the tank. Through the 1300, Whitlock holds the lead, 1318, but it is down. to three tenths of a second. And the lead is gonna change hands for the first time in this race. Isaac Flea, 1349-35, again a 30.4 on that 50. Whitlock sees him, he is trying to answer back. League at 30.9, 31-2 Whitlock. Isaac comes in with a 15-24 best time. He turned it 14-20 on the bell lap. He is gonna be well under that time as he continues to charge down this pool. This back 500 is gonna be very impressive. He is gonna be He was 504, 510. He's going to be a 505 or 504 at the end here. He is going to make the run to go under 1520, and he does. 15, 19, 90. Whitlock second, 15, 22, 22. Zaboda in. Sorry, Miedehovic in third, 15, 27.38. Fantastic 1500 meter freestyle.
Attention. Can Aiden Hammer please report to award staging? Aiden Hammer, please report to the award staging area for the men's 1500 meter freestyle awards. And Coach Schubert, please, to the award staging area. All right, let's welcome back our top eight finishers for the men's 1500 meter freestyle to the award stage. Presenting awards tonight from the swim team, legendary coach Mark Schubert. In eighth place from King Aquatics, Aiden Hammer. Seventh from Tide Swimming, Bobby Denunzio. Six from Des Moines Swimming Federation, Jacob Pins. Fifth from Nova Virginia Aquatics, Nathan Zabota. Fourth from Crimson Aquatics, William Mulgrew. Third from the Pleasanton Seahawks, Luka Miatovich. Second from Fisher's Area Swimming Tigers, Luke Whitlock. And your 2023 Speedo Junior National Champion in the men's 1500 meter freestyle in a time of 1519.90 from the swim team, Isaac Flag. Up next, we're going to have heat one of the women's 4x50 medley relay.
as we get set up for this event. And if my information is 100% correct, in that last heat in the men's 1500 meter freestyle, Luca Miatorich, as a 14 year old out of Pleasanton Seahawks, just broke the national age group record set back in 1976 by Jesse Vassallo. Luca came in with a 15.27.38, eclipsing Vassallo's record of 15.31.03, set back before I was even born. Congratulations, Luca, on that swim. Heat one. <laughs> so we got to lean one, that's Sumac Carolina, two, Carmel Swim Club, three, Sumac Carolina, A relay. Four is the Aqua Jets, five is Denver Hilltoppers, six Nitro Swimming, seven is North Baltimore, and eight is Mission Viejo. This is a mad sprint, 50 meters of each stroke. Leading off the backstroke, transitioning into the breaststroke. Right now, leading off, that was Kern for Aqua Jets in 29.07. She hands it off to Rob in the water now for Swimback, Sanders, Carmo, Wilson. Swimback is Clamforth, Aquajets is Rob, Hilltoppers and Roof, Nitro, Marakovich, Baltimore, Hazelhurst, and Mission Viejo is Hughes. Aquajets continue to lead, but Hilltoppers coming on very strong there. 32 fours on the breaststroke splits. Right now, Bixby and Ficken in the middle of the pool going head to head, gonna hand it off to our freestyle leg. In the water for Aqua Jets is Wenzel, in the water for Hilltop is Loveridge. Looks like Loveridge has a great sprint there. Strong kick as the Denver Hilltoppers is gonna take heat number one in 155.19. Heat two. <laughs> so we had a lane number one that's along out aquatics. Two is Carmel Swim Club, three, Bellevue. Four is Crow Canyon, five Mission Viejo, six Irvine Nova Aquatics, seven is Club Wolverine, and eight is Fisher's Area. Time to beat right now, 155.19, set in the previous heat by Denver Hilltoppers.
Odell leaving them out in for Mission Viejo, 28-60 on the opening leg of the 50 backstroke. In the water right now, Phillips for Mission Viejo. Angie out there in lane number three for Bellevue. Handing it off, Bellevue with the lead, 1 0 84 on the back of a 31 5 50 breaststroke split, 30.3 50 breaststroke split from Co Crow Canyon, Haley Gregory. On the butterfly leg, that's Stinson for Mission Viejo, Watson for Bellevue. And Natadors take over the lead again, 127-85. In the water is Salvino for Mission Viejo. Bellevue in the water is Cooey. But right now it's gonna be all Mission Viejo Natadors going to storm into the wall, take this win. They will be 152-87. Great swim, second place. Going to Bellevue at 154.38. Third, going to Crow Canyon at Now feature the men's 4x50 medley relay. Then number eight. Heat one. We got to lead one that's swimming at Carolina B, two is Carmel Swim Club, three is Scottsdale Aquatic Club, four is Swim Neptune, five is Mission Viejo Nanador, six is Arlington Aquatics, seven is Nation Capital, and eight is Lakeside Aquatic. Lane number six and seven right now, that's Dunkel and Schmid out of Arlington and Nation's Capital, looking to be in the lead at the 50 backstroke. Lead actually is out there in lane number eight from Williamson out of Lakeside. At the hundred, we have four teams neck and neck between Carmel, Natadors, Nation's Capital, and Lakeside. It'll be down to the final 50 sprint freestyle. Carmel with the slight lead there. Shackle in the water. On the outside is Polk for Lakeside. And Hoet out there in lane number seven for Nation's Capital. 16 years of age, storming home to take that win. 143-71, 22-27, 50 meter split at the end for the Nation Capital.
So we got a lane number one, Bolster School Sharks. Two is Longhorn Aquatics. Three, Sumac Carolina. Four is Rose Bowl. Five is Oxford Jets. Six is Nitro. Seven, Foothills. And eight is Texas Ford. <laughs> right there, Aqua Jets. Luke Logue. Got to be hitting the wall close to first. Didn't quite register the touch, so 26-1-1 from Ben DeMar. Aqua Jets, Charlie Eglin right now. And Aqua Jets taking a commanding lead by about a second. 53-75. All right, now Swim Mac Carolina, the Rose Bowl, Aqua Jets, and Nitro. Everybody's moving quick. Right now, it is Aqua Jets with the lead, 118-81. Last 50 meter sprint. Nitro, Foothills, Aqua Jets, Rose Bowl, Swim Mac. Who is going to be coming in to the touch? It goes to Swim Mac Carolina, 141 96. now be alternating heats of the women's 4x50 medley relay with heats of the men's 4x50 relay. Heat 3. Swimming out of lane number one, Crow Canyon, two, Adina Swim Club, three, Palo Alto, Stanford, four, Santa Clara, five, Scarlet, six, is Nova, Virginia, seven, is Rose Bowl, and eight, is Longhorns. At the turn, Palo Alto leads 30.09 from Kelsey Zhang. <laughs> Through the 100, Nova of Virginia takes the lead, 102. 
91 on the back of a 32 flat wrist split by L. Scott. Right now, Paolo Alto and Nova out there neck and neck heading into the final 50 freestyle. Palo Alto with a slight edge, 130.4 to 130.8, about four tenths of a second. Audrey Chung on the anchor here for Palo Alto. Allison Bischoff on the anchor for Nova. But Chung gonna be running away with this 50. She is gonna come in under the flags and touch 156.22 with a 25.82 50 meter freestyle split. Two out of lane number one, that's Nova, Virginia. Two, Evolution Racing Club. Three, Mason Manor Rays. Four, Schroeder YMCA. Five is Bowl School. Six is FMC Aquatics. Seven is Scarlet, and eight is Waterloo Swimming. Schroeder's swim team leads it off with Sam Lorenz, 26-41. Well, right now, FMC Aquatics, Alex Lakin exploding on the field on the 50 breaststroke. He is going to give them a body length lead heading into the 100 mark. 27-80 on the breaststroke split there from Lakin. That is moving. Right now in the water, Jeffrey Hu. Makes the touch, 119.57, 25-35, 50-meter butterfly split. And FMC Aquatic trying to get it done right now. Lancaster from Bowles moving up quickly. He might get by, we will see. And it does go to Bowles, 143-65. 22-7 anchor split from Lancaster to get the job done. FMC Aquatics made them work for that one. Great race. Moving back now to the women's 4x50 medley relay.
Heat four. Swimming out of lane one, Bellevue Swim Team. Two is Nitro. Three, Memphis Thunder. Four, Schroeder YMCA. Five, Scottsdale. Six, Lakeside. Seven, Clovis. And eight, the Woodlands. Into the wall, the lead is on the outside from the Woodlands. That was Lizzie Watson. Right now, lane number four from Schroeder YMCA. Tori Brustowitz with a strong breaststroke, 32.09, gives them the lead of 102.33, over a second ahead of the rest of the field. At the touch, on it's going to go to Schroeder YMCA, 155 and Heat four. Swimming out of lane one, Nitro swimming. Two is Cavalier Aquatics, three Denver Hilltoppers, four is Rose Bowl, five Dart Swimming, six Hinsdale, seven Long Island, and eight is Seattle Metropolitan. Right now, lane eight and lane two, Cavaliers and Seattle Metropolitan. Seattle Metropolitan takes the lead, 26.05. Ben Bricka with a very fast first 50 split. Through the 100, Seattle Metropolitan still leading 54 73, about a second lead over Cavalier Aquatics out in lane two. At the third 50, lead changes again. Cavalier Aquatics, 120.19 to 120.90. 
24-53 butterfly spit from Will Brown from Cavaliers. 53 into the wall. It will go to Cavalier. 144-07. To take the win. Back to the women's four by 50 medley relay. Heat five. So we got a lane number one, North Bay Aquatics, two, Sierra Marlins, three, Gold Medal Swim Club, four, Metro Area Lifetime, five is Bull School Sharks, six, is BGC North Westchester Marlins, seven Ben Swim, ben Swim Club, and eight is Seattle Metropolitan. It's been some great racing in each heat of these four by 50 relays. Right now, Bowles is going out strong, 29-26. That's Lila Higo. Lane number one beginning to make a charge, North Bay Aquatics, Mia Solomon. Really accelerating on that breaststroke split. 32-85, 102-9 to lead him out at the 100. Ben Swim Club up there as well. Kinley Wiggle. 32-61 on her breaststroke split. North Bay still leading, 130.83. Ash delivering a 27-92, 50 fly split. But Chavez from the Sierra Marlins threw down a 26-61. On the last 50 sprint here, it looks to be North Bay out of lane one going to get the touch, and they do, 156.89. Leah Heffernan bringing them home for the win in that heat. Heats remaining now. Back to the men's 4x50 200 medley relay.
Heat five. So we got a lane one, Santa Clara Swim Club, two, Irvine Nova Aquatics, three, Lake Oswego, four, Rockville Mount Montgomery, five is Lakeside, six, Madison Aquatics, seven is Riptide, and eight, Westchester Marlins. Lake Oswego, 26-59. For Quinlan Gould, giving them about a half a second lead over Rockville Montgomery. And it looks like Jack Robleski is going to continue to build that lead. They touch the wall. 55-88, 29-29, breaststroke split for Roblowski. Right now they're out there in some clean water on the butterfly leg. Well ahead of the pack. They touch 120.85, a 24.950 butterfly from Empe. Bringing them home right now. Tyler Kim trying to make a run at Kim over there from Irvine is Wang, but they are not going to have the room to get it done. Lake Oswego takes it at 143.89. Kim with a 23-0 split at the end to bring him home. Eight six. So we on lane two, Lake Oswego Swim Club. Three is South Metro. Four, Orinda Aquatics. Five is SoCal Aquatics. Six, Phoenix Swimming. And seven is Pikes Peak Athletics. Taking the lead right now out of lane number four, Arinda Aquatics, 30.21 from Adriana Smith. Now Pikes Peak takes the lead at 102.76, Adelaide number seven. Bricker with a 32.45 breaststroke split. Yeah. 
Pikes Peak still in the lead, 130.36, 27-6, 50 fly split from Mintenko. Pikes Peak going to take the win, 156-77. Burton bring them home in Eight twelve. So we on a lane number one, new wave swim team two is Riverside Aquatics. Three is Arindo Aquatics, four is Iowa Flyers, five Alamo Area Aquatics, six is Patriot, seven Golden West, and lane eight is Rancho San Diego. Golden West right now in first, 121.07. Baron Lima sprinting into the finish, take the win. 145-87 as Golden West takes heats number six.
Eight seven. So we're on lane number one, Greater Omaha Aquatics. Two, Scottsdale Aquatics. Three, Alto Swim Club. Four, South Metro Storm. Five, Raleigh Swimming Association. Six, Dallas Mustangs. Seven is Crow Canyon Sharks. And eight is the Terrapin Swim Team. Right now, Watson out of Greater Omaha and Andy Cooey out of Alto Swim Club leading him out. But it is the Terrapin Swim Team. Aiden Lee touched the walls first, 27-37. Raleigh swimming, moving up right there. Brazen Walker, 28.18, 50 breaststroke split, leading them out at 56.23. Greater Omaha on the outside in lane number one, 56.85, only about half a second back at the 100, but making a big move on the butterfly leg on the back of Henry Dvorak. They're gonna turn and take over the lead, 121-30. Dvorak splitting a 24-45, 50 butterfly. Absolutely monster swim. And that's gonna help propel Greater Omaha to the win, 145-36. Finnegan brings them home in 24-0. Heat eight. Our final heat of the night. Swimming out of lane number one, Sierra Marlins. Two, Irvine Nova Aquatics. Three is King Aquatics. Four is Razorback. Five, Club Wolverine. Six is SoCal. And seven is Fox Valley. Leading him out from Club Wolverine, Sam Campbell, 26-72. Right now, Key and Lamb out there in lane number seven for Fox Valley. High on the water and high tempo as he brings Fox Valley into the lead at the 100. 28-98 on his split, 55-7 on the 100 for Fox Valley as they get about a half a body length lead into the butterfly. Last exchange of the night, and it's a tight one. You've got King Aquatic Club, Razorback, Club Wolverine, and Fox Valley. 
Four teams racing to the finish for the final event of our first night at Speedo Junior Nationals 2023. Right now, Razorbacks seem to have a slight edge going into the wall, and they're going to get that touch. 146-53, 23-77 from Eli Wetzel to take the win in heat number eight. Talk about a great first day of 2023 Speedo Junior Nationals. We've seen two meet records today, one from Tess Halley in the 200 fly and one from Aaron Shackle in the 200 fly. We've seen two national age group records, Ian Call for 13, 14, 100 breaststroke and Luca Mihatorik out of the 1500 meter freestyle for 13, 14 boys, breaking a nearly 50 year old record by the legendary Jesse Vassallo. We had amazing 800 freestyle battle for the girls. It has been an exciting night of finals. Cannot wait to see what happens tomorrow. Safe trip home or to your hotel or your final destination. We'll be back tomorrow morning for day two and prelims. Have a good night.